Hey folks, it's Lindsay Huddles with SPS back in the building over at Randolph Technical High School with the Detroit Public Schools Community District Media Day for football. And uh, I couldn't start off this media day right without seeing with Coach Tyrone Spencer. Ty yes, Spencer sir. represented the King Crusaders yes, State Championship back yes, to back. I said, man, it's like a whirlwind. And back at it again, right? Yeah, back at it, man. We're working hard. Um, you know, I definitely want to see the guys just continue to work harder, man, and just not get complacent um, and, and think that, hey, we, we did it back to back. You know, there's no more work needed to be done. It's always work that needs to be done. Yeah. What's hard going up the mountain or being on top of the mountain? Definitely being on top. Definitely when, being on top. When you're on top, you got the target. You know, yeah. you got to deal with not only your coaches, but players. You know, everybody gets comfortable. You know, uh -huh. coaches get comfortable, players get comfortable. And, you know, you just have to every every time fight to try to stay up there. Yeah. So what do you do to stay curated, to stay on top of it, to keep connected with the post, to make sure people don't get complacent yeah. and comfortable? Just, just, just trying to find new ways to challenge our team team, our sure, staff, sure. Um, whatever that is, you know, like we got a young team this year, so, um, which is pretty good because they don't know. Mm -hmm. So you could tell them, you could talk to them about how, you know, they haven't experienced it, they haven't sure. been there, and people are going to be targeting you for right. things that you don't even, right. you didn't even do. You, you yeah. wouldn't do it without yeah. that. Yeah. Be like this. So, yeah, uh -huh. so challenging them like that and, um, and just always challenging our coaches, you know, that's, I think that's the part that a lot of people miss is that, and, and Coach Harvey before he passed always told me, like, you got to coach the coaches. You know what I mean? You gotta coach the coach. I heard you say that earlier when you was talking about the players. You said, Coach, I put a pin in that, but you're right. You gotta focus on the coaches as well. Yeah, you have to because they get complacent. They get full. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we, we come in with this hunger. We're hungry. We wanna uh -huh. we wanna eat, we wanna eat. And then when you eat, you're full. And then what yeah. you do, you full. Go to sleep. Yeah, fat yeah. yeah. I mean, like, nah, we gotta stay hungry. And also ego plays a role because when yeah. you are the state champ, you get all them out of boys, you feel like hey, we got to us, that's it. Yeah. You know, that's definitely a mental um, um, uh, challenge when it comes to that. Now I can put my sports psychology hat on. Also talk about the Detroit Wayne Integrated Health Network. They've yeah. been a great sponsor uh, for SBS talking about mental health and mental health resources. Talk about from a mental health standpoint what have you seen in your ascension with coaching going up and down and being where we are right now in 2023? Yeah, man. It's been, uh, it's, it's definitely a concern. You know, it's a real um, I mean, I've, I've seen it on from the school level teaching to the football players but um, it's a lot of stress on the players man sure. like trying to be a, a athlete um, and dealing with the books dealing with your stuff at home dealing with you know being a teenager I think sometimes you know we try to tell them or we try to say they're soft or whatever but nah man it's a lot that they're dealing with right now we didn't have to deal with social media right you know what I mean right. like right. You know, they got to deal with social media and the perception of what other people think of them and you know that's uh, that's different than, than what we had to deal with and so um, it's, it's just a lot but um, as we continue to to go through this thing we try to find new ways to help them deal with it. So I know at our school, I'm, I'm so happy we have a social worker mm -hmm. uh, that'll be working with us this year so we can be able to help them on that level and really just, just talk to your players. You know, mm -hmm. like when you talk to them, man, how many brothers and sisters you have? You got a sure. girlfriend, you sure. know, sure. and just be in that ear for them, uh -huh. be in that, that sometimes that, that voice of reason that they need at times, you know, mm -hmm. it's just everything. Coach, you're always at the, uh, you know, the front as it relates to everything cutting edge. You got an outstanding program. You're always moving, whether it's locally around the country, this new word is coming to play NIL. Mm -hmm. And also talking about on the high school level. Yeah. At this point, you know, yeah, I, I hope not. <laughs> well, I mean, I would say you probably probably have to be prepared to receive it because they just yeah. had some talk about legislation here in Michigan. 20 other states have it. But my point being is, if that does come into play, how do you coach championship caliber players who within 24, maybe 18 months will be eligible for something like that? You yeah. have a great outstanding yeah. young man in Dante Moore who is NIL. Uh, you know, uh, you know, profound. But how do you do with the next generation coming up? Well, that's a part of your dealings with as well. That's going to be interesting, you know, because what does that look like? Um, does that mean that that other high schools are going to get kids because they can give them nil? You know what I mean? That that that's the that's why I don't yeah, like. Yeah, it. I need you go see somebody or something. <laughs> yeah, like that's why I don't like it. Like, are you going to see more transfers, more kids saying, "Hey, I'm gone because IMG can give me fifty thousand dollars." to leave I mean I just I don't like it man I don't I don't like it now if there's some if there's really some rules to it like you know this is only based on you know you can get it maybe your 11th grade year uh -huh. you know something like that yeah, and, sure, sure. you know it's, it's just, it has to be some rules and it gotta be regulated the right way well, coach I'll tell you this at SPS I've been doing a three part series on um, uh, name image and likeness the portal and mental health a cautionary tale kind of stem
stems from what we saw with John Morant to where we are now. Yeah. My goal is whatever committee comes together, we go ahead and you at the table. Absolutely. Cause, absolutely. Cause we're yeah. dealing with that high caliber athlete that's right. probably going to be more likely eligible. That yeah. I don't mean to bring these topics up to stir the pot, but these are just those things that you it's talk real. about that they have to deal with. Uh, talk about what King football is going to be looking like this season. Oh um, man, we're going to be we're going to be uh, pretty good, I think, man. I think uh, you know just because you know Dante is gone, you know um, we've been there before when Dante was a freshman. You know he, they, they, everybody's like, oh, the has gone. Then Dante comes in, and leads us to the state championship game. We lost, but he led us sure. to the game. Sure. Um, but uh, I'm really excited about our um, our class, our seniors. We got 14 of them. Um, we we returned Dante Dooley this year. He had an ACL injury last year. He started as a sophomore, uh -huh. so he'll lead that back in um, for us. Um, and just excited about our, our front. Our defensive line has experience. Offensive line has experience. So we should be able to run the ball really well, um, and that'll help our young quarterbacks um, or inexperienced quarterbacks as they continue to get more and more comfortable. Um, and then using Xavier uh, Newsom this year as a tight end, you know, we really never had that. Um, but we'll be able to flex them out and use them at tight end. Um, Tayshawn Henry will be a running back with a, a complement of a whole bunch of other guys. We got a lot of guys that can run the ball for us. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that's just going to be our strength. And defensively, um, I think we'll be better than what I thought. You know, I saw some, the 7 on 7, I seen our secondary take a step up. And um, it, it's going to be really fun, man. It reminds me of our 2016 team with Daquan Finn, Marvin Grant, all those guys. They were sophomores. And, um, you know, we ended up winning that state championship that year. So that was actually my first year coaching. So I'm really excited about that group, though. I got one more thing before I let you get out of here. When you started that, talking about, you know, how you feel about that, you said uh, we'll be good enough. Is good enough enough for people? Does that satisfy their insatiable desire to constantly yeah. want you to be at the mountaintop, Coach right. Saban, you know, <laughs> like Alabama, I, you know, all that type of stuff? And, you know, I, I don't know the answer to that. I, I just know with, with our kids and what we have, we're going to do the best that we can. We're going we gonna to go really hard. We're going to um, – I'm going to push them to the limit, and we're going to try to make a run of it every year that we can. You know what I mean? So um, I know they want to do it, and so they're going to be behind me. And as long as we got the coaches that that's still willing to give their time and energy, um, we always going to have a shot. But your community knows that too. They know that you guys are committed, but don't stop them from chirping, do it. Yeah, no, nah, it don't stop, man. That, that'll never stop. So we, we, we know that, and we, we just going to continue to like keep our heads down and work and, and go from there. But it'll, it'll be a great challenge for us this year for sure. Well, I tell you what, I'm looking forward to it. I can't believe I'm saying that. One of them cold nights, you know, uh, coming off the Detroit River, coming through and talking to you, being gracious with you as you always are at the end of a game. Yes, and you talking about how things worked out. Uh, we kind of come a long way from, you know, doing it the first time we yep. did a few years ago, yep. being on forward field and all. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely, uh, man. All right, well, keep it up. All the best luck to you. Thanks a lot. All right, this is Lindsay Nelson with SBS, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.